Nigerians should know that I have feelings like other people, Baba Ginda pleads. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Baba Gida urged Nigeria not to see him like a military dictator, but like a regular human being who has feelings. Uh -uh. Nigeria, I hear thee. Nigerians, Dragas Association of Nigeria. Those people are everly active. Call on them in the morning, afternoon, night. They are everly ready. They don't close their mouth. No matter how you threaten them, no matter how you do it, they will, act, they will drag you. <laughs> I fear who no fear drag us who. Hey, hey. I fear who no fear drag us association of Nigeria. To be very sincere with you. So now, Babagina is coming out to plead with people that please, we should be small. Previously, I mean... Initially, or let's say previously, there was a news information getting to us about, you know, um, 48 hours or 24 hours ago, I cannot say precisely. He came out and said that, you know, they, they were writing lies everywhere about him and Nigerians are gullible enough to believe it. I don't know what he has said now that, I, that, that made him to make such, um, you know, exclamation. He must have actually seen maybe an article about him or... Maybe people comment, you know, or maybe on that article or, you know, he must have heard something. But I fear who no fear Nigerians. The thing is, in Nigeria, what I know that we do here, yes, we know that um, what they call bad news about you fly fast. Naturally, naturally. Bad news about something fly. You see somebody who has been, you are, you has been maybe going to work, coming back, going about his business, coming back, you know, his friends and well-wishers will just... They'll just be relating on, you know, some, everybody will be busy. Just let there be news about um, something happening to that person. God forbid. You're going to see the whole world coming out to say, ah, he's a good person. He did not. These are people who never cared. Then let it not be that maybe somebody died. You will hear the whole things that they have never told the person. So I think um, if you are someone who is in politics or if you're somebody who is in the limelight, you should be very thick skinned. Not that I'm saying people who drag people are actually they are doing the right thing, but I'm saying you should be very thick skinned and be ready for the worst of the worst criticisms. In fact, anybody who is coming to Nigeria to become the president, governor, senator, councillor, um, House of Reps member, Senate House member should just be prepped in advance to have very thick skin because there will be many tantrums. They will throw tantrums at you. In fact, they can confuse you. With our tantrums. Okay, let's find out why he said this. The news in detail. Please stay with us. Former military dictator Ibrahim Babangida has pleaded with Nigerians to understand that he is a human being and therefore all the human frailties you can attribute some of them to me. Well, I think I will say that it's not many people know that I'm a human being and therefore all the human frailties you can attribute some of them to me. Mr. Bangina, who played a major role in the annulment of June 12, 1993 presidential election, said to be Nigerian first and first, was speaking in an interview with Daily Trust. Well, I think what I would say is that not many people know that I'm a human being and therefore all the human frailties you can attribute some of them to me, the former military dictator said. A lot of people saw me from the point of view of my profession or from the job I did, but I still have and I still remain a human being. I have feelings. I have respect for people and I don't always like to be in a situation where I find myself quarreling with anybody. I try to avoid that, he said. Mr. Babangida, who led the junta that ruled Nigeria from 1985 to 1993, his regime is blamed for internalizing the culture of corruption, settlement, in Nigerian politics. Well, the thing is, since we cannot lay our hands on history, anytime a glimpse of it comes out, people capitalize on it and they try to, you know, say things concerning it. But sincerely, I'm not saying, you know, criticism or critics are actually, it, it works. Criticism actually comes in two ways. If you're someone who is a leader, criticism can be your feedback, though they can be criticism that are going to be extreme. Like, you'll be like, ah, this is too harsh. They are criticism like I expect it. And there are those who, if you flip it very well or you sieve it very well, at the end of the day, you get that. Maybe people are trying to point out the areas where you're actually not touching or working on out to you. Yes. 
Because in Nigeria, we don't have a kind of system where we can communicate to the government, right? How we communicate in Nigeria is, is majorly via social media. Sincerely. It is when something happens and you know you tweet and retweet, somebody share and post and post and post. And before you know it, people talk about it everywhere in WhatsApp group, in Facebook groups. You know, people post on it on the Instagram, on the, anywhere. That is when the, the news will not get to people that it, he, the news is intended to get to. Sincerely. If we don't shout, these people will not hear. So sometimes the criticism comes like feedback. And sometimes it is really extreme. But the truth about it is if you're a leader or somebody who is actually in the spotlight, you should just have this thick skin attitude. Make sure that whatever that is said to you does not get to you. Because um, you can't even afford to let it get to you. At the end of the day, those people saying this thing about you, more so they don't know you personally. They only know the office that you represent. Yes, that is just the truth. You cannot take it away. Which feelings you get when you disrupt a credible and fair content due to greediness? I beg Paco. Ah, Nigerians. You have feelings like other people, but other people don't have the kind of money you have. Who is cheating? Oh my goodness. Who is cheating each other? You want to run for election, Abi? We will not be surprised. Well, well, well. To be specific about the feelings you have so that we will be able to help you if there is something we can do. Oh my God, Nigerians, who did this to us? We will never forgive you for what you and your gang of criminals did to our father, M.K.O. Abiola. <laughs> but you killed our best officer during your time as head of state. Their blood is on your head. Sincerely. This is where I would say I wish history is out and made at, available at our fingertips so that we can actually get it. Actually read it. Go through it and know truly, truly what really happened because I won't be surprised um, if we find something different or maybe slightly different in history. To be sincere. So, while it is, um, it is only good that you as, a, as someone who is, uh, let me say, who is actually um, you're in the spotlight. Let's say maybe you're the president, you're the governor, you're the vice president. Whatever you are at the end of the day, you should have thick skin. Be prepped for it. You cannot be over prepared for it. Because I tell you, even when things are working well, you see people that is coming out to blame you just for talking thick. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for attending and to listen. And until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.